Diagwitch gach dinna, an chachtan shal baimage eg faulam nith mo fui edi. So this week we'll be learning a bit more about clothes. Ak er dus, an gwiven lat na fucko a aulamij an chachtan shal kacha. Do you remember the words we learned last week? So give it a go. Cut an kaid kyan. Lena klocha. Patterned or printed shirt. Lena klocha. And Darakian? Elena Sholta. A cool t shirt. Elena Sholta. And Triukian? Kanzi Comporduck. A comfy jumper. Kanzi Comporduck. And Katrukian? Rishti Gaina. Jean trousers. Denims. Jeans. Rishti Gaina. And Kugu Kyan? Rishti Gyara. Short trousers or shorts. Rishti Gyara. And Sheu Kyan? Skirta Fashionta. A fashionable skirt. Skirta Fashionta. And Shakdu Kyan? Guna Glocha. Youth dress. Guna glocha. An uktukyam. Broga raha. Runners. Broga raha. An niukyam. Broga orda. High shoe, the high heel. Broga orda. Agasan kyan darnak. Broga galanta, fancy shoes. Broga galanta. And we figured out that most of these red words are adjectives, so you can chop and change them. You can, you could have a skirt again, which would be a denim skirt. You could have a gansey glocha, which would be a cute jumper. So, Anish, Tomage, Confake, and Er, Kupla Fuckle New. We're going to look at a few new words. So, on Cade Kyan. Leggings. Lichoga. Now you say it after me. Lichoga. Lichoga. And Darakian, a tracksuit. Colour sport. Colly sport. You say it after me. Colly sport. And Triukian, a hoodie. Well, this is an easy one. It's just hoodie. So say it after me, but I don't think you really need to. Hoodie. And Katru Kyan. A jersey. So with this one, you kind of have to remember which sport you're talking about because the word is actually Anzi Pella, which is football jumper. So if you were talking about a rugby jersey, you'd have to say Ganzi rugby. And this actually isn't a Ganzi Pella. This is a soccer jersey so it would actually be Gansey soccer so Gansey Pella a jersey Gansey Pella now a necklace Moinka now that's a little bit difficult to pronounce try that with me Moinka Moinka okay next one is a bracelet Brashlade it sounds quite a bit like the English. Brash laid. Say it with me. Brash laid. A ring. Fawnia. Say it with me. Fawnia. Fawnia. Earrings. Well, I wonder if you could figure this out yourself because you know how to say ear and now you know how to say ring. Have you got it? Fonya Fluasa. Fonya Fluasa. You say it with me now. Fonya Fluasa. And the last one here is a badge. And I've put this in because St. Patrick's Day is coming up. You could be wearing a badge on your birthday, or you could, people often just wear decorative badges. So a badge is a Suhantus. And that's a tricky one to pronounce as well. So try that with me. 
suhantus, suhantus. Okay, Inish. La romij na fukul galera rish. We're gonna say them all again. Lichoga, Kali sport, Hoji. Ganzi Pella, Muinka, Brashlade, Fania, Fania Cluasa, Suhantus. Okay, Dunn the Hula. Let's call the Hula. In Count a Hog May. Hog two. Brashlade. Do you know the hula? Let's call the hula. Ain Fiona Hog me. Hog to Hoddy. Do you know the hula? Let's call the hula. Ain Fiona Hog me. Hog to Fania Clusa. Do you know the hula? Let's call the hula. Cain can a hog me. Hog to Fancy Pella. In the hula. Let's call the hula. Cain can a hog me. Hog to Cully Sport. In the hula. Let's call the hula. Cain can a hog me. Hog to Lichoga. Do you know the hula? I'll call the hula. In can a hog me. Hog to Winka. Do you know the hula? I'll call the hula. In can a hog me. Hog to Fania. Do you know the hula? I'll call the hula. In can a hog me. This is a kind of a trickier one, I think. Hog to Suhantus. Okay, fake a gear in a fuckle reach, have one last look, and they're gone. Now, on fatal at eat a glare at Amnu, can you name them all? And Cade Kown. Lichoga. And Barra Kown. Cully Sport. And Triu Kown. Hoodie. And Catrican. Ganzi Pella, or it could be Ganzi Soccer, Ganzi Rugby, whatever you like. Ganzi Amaniacta, Ganzi Kamogiacta. On Kugu Kian. Mwinka. On Triu Kian. On Sheyu Kian, I mean. Brashlade. On Shaktu Kian. Fania. On Tuktukian, Fania Kluasa, Agasan Kian Darren, a class one, Suhantus. Very good. So, and we always talk about language being Lego. You know these, but what else do you know? You know those adjectives we've learned already. Any of those adjectives could be put with these. So here we have Lichoga Il Dacha. Multicolored leggings, Cully Sport Comportic, a comfy tracksuit, hoodie cloche, a printed or patterned hoodie, Ganzi Pella Sholta, a cool jersey, Winka Gloche, a cute necklace, Fania Fashionta, a fashionable ring, Fania Cluasa Galanta, fancy earrings. So, learning words by themselves we know isn't all we need to do with language, we need to learn some sentences. So, this week we are learning about a very important word for talking about clothes which is air. Now air has a couple of different meanings you might remember when we were doing our I'm sure Katja air was our question word you know you'd say air her to the loan in the wall of school did you put your lunch in your school bag but today we're talking about a different meaning for air which is on so you probably know this already quer May mo cos pian Louis air on mord. I put my 
pencil case on the table. Cur on moon shore, on Copelauer, air on moored. The teacher put the copy on the table. In Irish, though, these little small words, which we call prepositions, they have lots of different versions of them, depending on who we're talking about. So if you're saying on me, it changes. So we're going to have a look at that now. So, erdus. We're talking about me, so may. We would say ta lichoga urum. So our word air turns into urum when we're talking about me. So you say this with me. Ta lichoga urum. Ta lichoga urum. And you might know some of these already. So now let's talk about you. Ta muinka urk. You have a necklace on you. Ta muinka urt. And you might notice some of them there's a kind of a little pattern or a little cue, clue. Think may starts with m and our word is urum. It has that m at the end. Tu starts with t and here we have urt. We have that t at the end. So ta muinka urt. There's a necklace on you. For he, ta brashlade air. Ta brashlade air. For she, ta fanya clusa erhi. She has earrings on her. Ta fanya clusa erhi. For we, ta ganzaha pella urin. Now you'll have heard I said Gansey in a funny way there, and that's because we're talking about we. So we're not saying about a jumper, we're talking about jumpers plural. So that's why it sounds different. But pay more attention to the urin part. That's the important part for right now. Ta Gansaha Pella Urin. And here again there's a little clue. Look at Shin, it ends in in, and look at Urin, it also ends in in. So there's little clues here to help you out a bit. Shiv, which means you plural, so that means you bang of people over there. Ta Koltaka sport or of and again you'll have heard Kully sport sounds different because this time I'm talking about plural, I'm talking about tracksuits, but we're paying more attention to Urv right now. Ta Koltaka sport or of again here's a little clue. Shiv ends with Iv and Uriv also ends with Iv. Ta Koltaka sport Uriv. Shiid, which means they. Ta Hudha Urhu. Ta Hudha Urhu. So there's all our different people. Me, you, he, she, we, you plural, and they. Let's try it again together. Say it with me. Ta lichoga urum. I've leggings on me. Ta muinka urt. You have a necklace on you. Ta brash laid air. He's got a bracelet on him. Ta fanya clusi urhi. She has earrings on her. Ta ganzaha pella urin. We have jerseys on us. Ta Koltuka Sport Urv. You lot have tracksuits on you. And Ta Hudaha Urhu. They have hoodies on them. Now, if we're talking about a person, but we're not saying you, he, or she, so if we're talking about a person with a name, or we're talking a person like the teacher. We just use the word air. So have a look at this last one. Ta suhantus air rosco. Ta suhantus air rosco. Or we could say ta suhantus air on madra, on the dog. Ta suhantus air on madra. Okay, so to recap, and Shaksansha, Dalamur, 
na focal shin. We learned this new vocabulary for Adi. August Freshen, Dowlamer, Fuin, Fuckle, Air. We also learned about the word air, which is a preposition. It means on. But in Irish, it's not quite as simple as just on. We have on me, urum. On you, urt. On him, air. On her, urhi. On us, urin. On you lot, urv. On them, urhu. And then if we need to say on Nile, air Nile, on the teacher, air on moon shore. So if you pause on this slide here, it'll help you do your work. There's also a handy hint sheet that you can use to help. And you can work away on the activities I've set for you this week.